Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Strawberry Shoggoth and today we'll be taking a look at Good Robot. So, let's start by taking a look at the options in this game. We have, well, kind of the usual audio, graphic, keyboard, controller. So, audio options, we have music and effects. I'm gonna lower the music a bit more, so it like that should be fine. Graphics, well we have full screen, we have screen tilt and then we have a decent selection of uh, resolutions. Nothing much else but then again the game is a 2D I don't know twin stick shooter perhaps let's call it that so you don't really need that many fancy graphic options. Keyboard. Now we have rebindable keys all the way down and multiple of them. So we can have two different bindings at once. That's always nice. And controller. Yeah. So it's based on the Xbox 360 controller, but you kind of get a drift even if you're using something else. Very well. So, let's dive in and start. Yeah, let's start a new game so you can see the beginning of the game while I talk a bit also. So we have this vending machines. Now, here you can buy invincibility hats which uh, simply stops the first attack against you. And there is, well, each machine has a random selection of six different hats. Let's get the sombrero top of that we also have a bit of flavor text down here that you can go through. Every machine has different, so let's see, controls. I'm currently playing with a mouse and keyboard and the controls are easy. You see, they feel responsive. Left mouse button is, well, I assume it's the, what I would call primary attack and Right mouth button is your secondary attack, which is slower but more powerful. Now let's see, here is something that dropped, it is a new weapon. Let's pick it up and see what it was. It was a secondary weapon, so now we have that instead. And as you can see, our previous weapon is still left there, so we can switch back if we want. An iron repeater, let's see what that is. Now that's our primary weapon, also a bouncy weapon, let's pick that up. Now you see these machines at the walls, these are blacks, they're dead, but if they are light like these, then they're spawning enemies and you... Well, they do self-destruct after a certain amount of enemies, but it's easier to just destroy them. You also, as you can see, collect points and also money. The money is used to buy upgrades and insurance and hats. And the points are collected to show that you're best at a game. So here's special offers. Here we can upgrade our... Well, basically anything. Everything. Vision radius, movement speed, attack power, rate of fire, shields or enemy scanner. Now we can't afford the enemy scanner, but... We can upgrade our rate of fire, so let's do that. Let's see if there are any good news. Well, not really. And here we have a transition to another level, basically. As you can see, you can't go back. And this is also a dark level, so I will only be able to see enemies if they're actually in my cone of light. Here we can buy, buy a new hat, but I already have a hat, so I don't need to buy another one. Now the dark level adds, definitely adds a more, well a second layer to it all. Not only do I have to kill stuff, I actually have to find it first. Uh, these shots, uh, I can't destroy them. Missile! Oh, damn, they shot my hat off. So, you know what? Let's go buy a new one. 
Let's buy the necromancer hat because I want bat wings on my head for some reason. So there are quite a few different possible weapons and that combined with upgrades give and these somewhat randomly generate levels give you quite a lot of possible replayability. Now as you can see there you can also shoot the missiles out of the air. That's not true for regular enemy shots, but missiles can be shot down. Now the beginning levels are quite easy because, uh, well, according to the developers uh, blog and some videos they made about the game, it's basically the first couple of levels are here to demonstrate concepts such as the dark levels, the hats, how the aiming works and so forth. To give you, well, a chance to get into the game before you're mercilessly destroyed by all these evil robots. And as you can see, colliding with walls is fine. It won't kill you. What's this? Special offers again. I can basically... Can't afford that one. Now, cash magnet. Let's buy it. Because, why the hell not? So, what do we have here? One big red. I do believe it means there's some kind of boss-like creature here. I still don't want to switch out my current hat. This, as we can see, is not a dark level, so I can see enemies without having to have them in my cone of vision. Now, here we see a Pyrocore Mask Bot is somewhere on the level, and apparently I damaged it, so it's close somewhere. I'm not actually sure if this is a boss per se, or if it's just more of a, you know, mini boss. But whatever it is, it's somewhere around on the level. Okay, there it is. Currently I'm just shooting most of its attack out of the air. But I have to say, these weapons are not the most powerful ones I've had. Okay, and it gave us... $400. Damn! It exploded all the way down to the ground. Well, great. We killed it. Now, let's instead try playing a bit with a control... Oh can't actually play with the controller, I guess I have to kind of start with the controller, in fact I think... Oh crap, yeah, I have disconnected my controller, so I'll come to that later. Well, this is the basic concept of the game. You fly around, you kill robots, you move to different... Well, you move to different levels, here we have... One that I assume will contain lots of cash and also probably lots of enemies to drop the cash. No, I'm not gonna switch. Another thing I really like is the music in this game is, in my opinion, fitting and it gives a nice atmosphere. Now, here we have a ton of machines just waiting to spit evil robots at us. And I lost my hat. And they're shooting at me. They're not very nice robots, but then again, I am the good robot, so I probably shouldn't expect the other robots to be the good robots. Ow, they shot me again. Yeah. It's 
you can see, there's already quite a bit more happening than it was on the first, well, two levels, so. And I would guess there's quite a lot more to come. Now, since I follow this game during the development, I happen to know there are quite a lot of enemy types that I still haven't seen on these first couple of levels. Yeah, we can buy a warranty or you can even buy some weapons. Let's buy a warranty and repair our shields. Mm. This one looks even meaner. And here we can probably buy a hat now. Top hat, obviously. I mean, I might be an evil robot, but I'm bloody well gonna be a classy evil robot. Well, okay, now there's quite a bit of things happening here right now, which is obviously nice because we want stuff to be happening. I have to say, I really should get a better combination. Oh, here we have a quality assurance worm. Quite a nasty thing, actually. Makes a annoying sound too, and it shoots a ton of stuff around. And once he's defeated, we'll be zoom back in. Do we want to take the grenade launcher? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I'm not sure it's better, but at least it's something different. And as you can see up to the right, you can see our primary and secondary weapon icons, what's left of our health or shield, but also that we currently have a warranty by shown by the green check mark. Now, as at all in all, this game is... it's quite nice. There is a lot... a lot to do if you enjoy this type of gameplay because, well... Score attack is a score attack. And while there doesn't seem to be any real story, you have the breaking news. So there are things to read in the game and... yeah. All in all, I find it quite enjoyable. I don't think I have uh, too much else to say about it. And I think you've gotten a quite clear picture of how the gameplay looks from this. So, that's about all for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it helpful to decide whether you want to buy the game or not. Have a nice day and let's see you next time.